Hello, Grandma DC here. I'm doing two vlogs in one day. I haven't even uploaded the other one. <laughs> but here's the reason why. Welcome to Carnivore Insanity. I just got the buy of the century. If you're a vegan, a vegetarian, God bless you. I know it's working for you. That's awesome. It just doesn't work for this old body. Please turn the channel off right now. <laughs> because I just bought an entire grass-fed pig and went and helped butcher it. <laughs> now, it was dead when I got there, so I didn't kill it because I just can't do that. Jennifer has them. They are raised in a field on grass, treated very, very well. And when it was put down, it didn't even see it coming. It was asleep, snoring, and they ended it in one fell swoop. So the pig did not suffer, and the other pigs in the field didn't even know what had happened. So, this is huma as humane as it gets, guys. Just as humane as possible. And she sold me the entire carcass. And she butchered most of it, I have to say. I tried to help. My butchering skills are not great. And her husband helped. And we just cut it into big chunks. And I brought home over a hundred pounds of grass-fed pork for like $65. It's less than a dollar a pound. I've got a ton of lard, which I'm going to render down. And then there's a lot of fat. I took all the fat so I can do my own cracklings. And I left the skin because I just wasn't in the mood to burn off the skin and everything to do skin cracklings. Uh, that's just a bit more work than I wanted to get into. But... Uh, it's amazing, guys. It is so rich looking. I can't wait to taste it. But right now, I'm going to have to get on it and start separating out the hams, the bacons. I've got to make a brine. I've got to watch some YouTube videos on how to do that. Because <laughs> it's been a lot of years. A lot of years. But look at this. There it is. Sacks and sacks of beautiful pork. There is an entire bucket of fat, lard, and in this, Jennifer, let me borrow it, is stuffed full of meat, ribs, everything you could imagine. Okay, I'm an idiot. Admit it! <laughs> but I was in this hot kitchen, and I'm rendering down some fat. Let me show you. I have this slow cooking pan of fat that I'm rendering down for some lard. I'm really excited about. And when I get done, I have all these nice chunks of fat that we will cook down. I've got my brine made here, which I got the recipe off of YouTube. And I have four hams that I will be brining. Aren't they beautiful? This meat was so fresh that it was warm when I was over there and uh, Jennifer was butchering it. It's crazy, I know. <laughs> so I don't think you could get any fresher. However, after watching YouTube videos on how to brine and everything, I realized I was going to need a brining bag. And I don't have one. And I just got to run to Walmart, which is an hour, an hour back, you know. So I thought, what am I going to do? And then I remembered. I had... I don't know if you remember this. Any of you, of my old YouTubers, watched long time ago. I made kimchi, and I bought myself a fermenter. And this meat needs to be submerged in brine for about a week. And when I didn't use a lot of sugar in my brine. That was the whole point of doing my own brine, was to not have a lot of sugar. I put a little in it because I wanted to offset the saltiness, but it's mostly salt. And I remembered the fermenter, and I'm like, oh my gosh, I wonder if I could put all four of those little hams in the fermenter. I can get at least two in. So I got it out and washed it up. Boy, it's been a long time since I used it. And man, am I happy. I've got it all clean. I got the lid, and I got the weights to it. So this is how we'll do it. Yeah. Oh, I tell you what, this has been so fun dealing with all this fresh meat. But as soon as I get it all sorted out, some's going in the freezer, some's going in the refrigerator. And I'm having another fasting day. I am just, I got through yesterday, and I'm so busy today, I'm going to miss my eating window.
but the pain is gone. And I know my ibuprofen wore off about five, six hours ago. So I'm just not going to eat anything until I make sure the pain is all gone. And then maybe tomorrow I'm going to have some of this delicious pork or meat of some kind. And then we'll just start over on being a carnivore. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize it was this much, and there's still more in there. <laughs> Woo, it's going to be a lot. Oh my. Yeah, I swear to you, those of you who heard me joking about eating my son, that's not him. <laughs> He's moving out. He's okay. He's safe. Don't panic. I know it's not much of a, a skill set. <laughs> But I've been trimming this fresh pork and, you know, taking some of the fat off, putting it in, rendering it down to make lard, I, or candles, or anything I want to do with it, soap if I want. And I got to thinking about it, and I thought, isn't it a shame that my grandchildren aren't interested in this sort of thing? It does worry me <laughs> if the end of the world came or something happened they would not know how to trim meat or how to cook it, you know, when it's in its natural state, so to speak. So, uh, I don't know. I've just been having a really good time doing this. I don't find it gross at all. I know there's some people are going to comment below. Eh. But to me, it, it makes me feel like I'm accomplishing something in my life to actually get fresh meat to help butcher it, bring it home and trim it up, and then put it in the freezer. I have the hams in the brine brining, and they'll be there for at least a week. I have, I forgot to take my uh, brining uh, fermenter out of the refrigerator before I filled, or out of the refrigerator. Good Lord, Grandma. I don't have anything to eat in two days. <laughs> have I tasted the fat? Would you be upset if I said, yeah? It's very sweet. Um, I had the fermenter in the sink. And I filled it full of water and then didn't realize I can't lift it. <laughs> so for the next week, it's going to be in the kitchen sink. No problem. All right, guys. I really hope that you somehow managed to enjoy this crazy video. I know some of you are going to be like, that's the grossest thing I've ever seen. Some of you are going to be like, I am so jealous. I wish I could find really fresh grass-fed pork like that. And I'm going to be enjoying this. I'm just cutting some of the random pieces up into chunks. And then I'm going to go watch a YouTube video on how to make bacon and cook jowl. <laughs> like, share, and subscribe to keep up with the insanity, guys. I love you all. Bye-bye. All right. This has been simmering on low, rendering down, and look at that, it is almost just full of liquid. This is going to be fantastic lard. Even though I was going to have a fasting day, I broke down and fried a little bit of the um, pork, and wow, wow, probably the best pork I've ever eaten. So uh, fantastic, and I want to congratulate Dwayne. Grampy Campy's Homestead, Bear Creek Homestead. I can never remember that long name, Dwayne. <laughs> For getting his thousandth subscriber, and he's doing giveaways. Isn't that marvelous? He's so cute. And uh, I just wanted to congratulate him on here. Well, I've got jars. I have to jar up all that lard. And tomorrow, Jennifer's coming and bringing me another bucket bowl. She says they just throw it away. <gasps> can you believe it? Throwing away good lard. Bye-bye. <laughs> it's going to be a late night. I still got all this fat to go. Come on, ladies. Let's sing the night-night song. Ba, 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 ba. Come on, girls. Let's sing the night-night song. Ba, 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 ba. Time to go, Betty. Bye. Come on. Ba, 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 ba. Everybody keep up with me now. Okay. You know, I gave them a piece of pork. They loved it. The dogs didn't. <laughs> that funny. 
Ba, 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 ba. Come on, ladies. In you go. Ba, 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 ba. Here we go. Ba, 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 ba. Come on, girls. Ba, 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 ba. All right.